cherry chia pudding today after a special request from my good friend who lives in Fiji. I haven't seen her in, oh my gosh, 30 years. We were good high school friends and it's so nice to be able to see people on Facebook and I love seeing her home in Fiji. Anyway, blueberry chia pudding. So for this recipe, you need chia seeds, um, some maple syrup, and vanilla, and you can use water. You can use whatever form of milk you like or a combination of the two. I use a half water, half milk. I use soy milk, organic soy milk. West Soy and Eden Soy are both great brands that are only soybeans and water. Um, make sure they're organic. Um, but you could use water, you could use almond milk, oat milk, even if you drink regular dairy milk, you could use that, that if you would like. All right, so the first thing I do whenever I have a, something I'm going to put in a blender, I'm putting this in a Vitamix. You do not have to have a Vitamix. You can use a regular blender for this. But I always put my liquids in first. I am using, this can be enough for two people. I have three quarters of a cup of water. Three quarters of a cup of soy milk. And I'm going to add one quarter cup of chia seeds and one cup of frozen blueberries. So these are just those wild blueberries. One cup. Kind of sticking in there. Then I'm going to add two teaspoons of vanilla. This is a new one. I haven't opened it yet. Two teaspoons of vanilla. You could use less if you think that would be too much vanilla for you. Oh, it smells so good. And I'm going to put in four teaspoons of maple syrup. So I haven't talked about any of our health benefits here. So blueberries, packed with antibiotics, so fabulous for um, all of your health your brain health, your heart health, any of that. So I'm going to do four teaspoons, maybe a little over. Maple syrup, um, you know, comes from a plant. It is naturally high in antioxidants and minerals. It's still a sugar, though, so we don't want to overdo it. Um, vanilla is vanilla. Um, soy milk. Um, soy has lots of good nutrients in it for you. Um, anyway, that is everything that we need in there. We have our everything in there. I'm going to just blend it for a few minutes. I said minutes, but I meant seconds, just for a few seconds. All right, and so you can see our beautiful purple color, how gorgeous. And what I'm going to do, so I have one for me and one for my husband. So for me, I'm just going to have it plain. For him, I'm going to layer, say I have some blueberries. I'm going to put in some oats. Make it like a parfait. You see that on there? Throw on some pecans. And then put on another layer. And then that would be a nice surprise for him in the morning. All right, so I'm just going to stick this in the refrigerator and let it set up. Um, put it in there for a couple of hours. I usually just do it the night before and then in the morning um, it's ready for us. So I'm going to let it sit for a little bit. I think I usually put some blueberries on top, but I'm afraid they're going to sink in. I'll put some on top just to see. Sometimes they have to set up a little bit before you top it with the blueberries. I don't know, maybe that'll work. All right. There we go.
we go. I'm going to stick these in the refrigerator, and then in the morning, we'll open them up and look at them. If you like my videos, be sure to subscribe on my YouTube channel or like and share on Facebook. If you have any ideas of things you would like for me to make in the future, some future videos, please share and let me know. I'm always open for ideas. Good morning. Here is our blueberry chia pudding. You can see it's all set up. Let's see what it looks like when I scoop it. Um, so we could have layered it and could have put some rolled oats in there. That would have been delicious or even some nuts or seeds in the middle. And on top, that would make it pretty, but uh, it's nice and creamy. And delicious. Enjoy.